Hey, I'm Larissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am in the Bronx with my sister, Liana, and our friend, Nathan, who's outside of the car right now. My sister got a notification on TikTok that there's this apartment in the Bronx that has a lot of men's vintage clothing. It's being cleaned out, and the person who has been in charge of cleaning it out reached out to Liana to see if she wanted to go through the vintage clothing before they tossed it. So that's what we're doing today. Have no idea what to expect. So I'm bringing you along for the ride. Walking into this two bedroom apartment in the Bronx was like stepping into a time capsule. This home was originally occupied by the Katz family and left to Stanley Katz, who lived there until he recently passed. Not only did Stanley not like to leave the apartment, but he didn't want to change anything in the apartment after his parents passed away. So this apartment had remained virtually untouched since the 1970s. There were so many antiques and interesting pieces, all of which need to be sold before the apartment is cleared within the next couple of weeks. Now, this is not my area of expertise to know how much any of these things are worth, but it was really special to look through the apartment to see all of these things that had been preserved and untouched for years. I made a couple of videos on my other social channels, just hoping to find the right people to be connected to Chris, who is in charge of helping the family sell these items so that hopefully these memories can be preserved for this family and some of these things that might have value don't just end up in a landfill. I love some of the things in the kitchen, these appliances that were probably at one point considered pretty groundbreaking. Like this iron, look how flat it is. And then how cool is this Zenith radio? There were cutlery sets still in their original boxes. This one had its Macy's gift tag. And then this beautiful one, which is silver plated. There was so much crystal in this little tiny home, a lot of it still in its original packaging. So one thing I learned about the Katz family is that they didn't drink. So all of these glasses were probably gifts at one point, and so they were never opened because they were never going to be used. And speaking of never been used, this closet was completely full of unopened liquor bottles. The family had saved every single box they had received as a holiday gift over the years, and it was still in its original packaging, filling an entire closet. After I had distracted myself with the home goods for enough time, it was time to look at the clothing. The smaller bedroom was stacked with vintage suits from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, all men's size small and in incredible condition. The larger bedroom was stacked with men's clothing and accessories, many of which still had its original tags on from the 70s. It's speculated that before his mom passed away, she bought many of these items for Stanley from Alexander's, and then after she passed, he couldn't bear to take the tags off or wear them. Winter hats, ties, even a basket full of socks with their tags still on. This stack of shirts all had come back from the dry cleaners at one point, but were never worn closet full of London fog coats with the original tag still on, PJs in original packaging, men's dress shirts in original packaging, wallets, belts, and ties all with the original tags mostly from Alexander's department store. It felt like in every corner of the house there was something interesting to uncover like this box of vintage sewing supplies. So after about an hour or so of just seeing everything that was in the apartment, I started making some decisions about what I might want to bring home. I have a small vintage clothing and accessory shop, so my goal was to select things that I felt confident would find a new home so that these pieces could live on and actually be enjoyed. But there were so many fabulous things I left behind. I mostly specialize in women's clothing and accessories, and there were very few items left over from his mom. I did bring home this purse that used to be his mother's. I carefully selected two stacks of things and then went to social media, started making videos, trying to connect people with Chris so that the rest of these items in this apartment could find a home. Okay, that was incredible. Um, at some point, as uh, it always happens, I stopped filming because you just get so enamored with looking through everything, but yeah, yeah uh, lots of treasures in the back of the car now. So can't wait to go through it all. <laughs>